Hello and welcome to this lecture. In the previous lecture, you understood how to remove duplicate from an unsorted list and in this lecture, you will write a program in Python for it. I have created a doubly linked list which we had seen in the previous lecture. Let's execute this program and see how our output looks like. So that's Python 3 or py whichever operating system you're in, space the file name which is remove duplicate and within brackets I've just mentioned it as unsorted. So we have the output as 13, 5, 13, 2 and 13. So 13 is repeated twice and we want to remove these two entries of 13 such that our list is left just with 13, 5 and 2. Let's get started. We will now have a new function. Let me call it remove duplicate. And this function will take in the linked list object as the parameter and remove all the duplicate values. So let's write this function that is define remove duplicate and accept the parameter that is linked list. And within this, we will now have a dictionary which is initially empty, which is used to keep track of the number of times a particular data has been repeated. So that's initially empty. And now let's traverse through the list. To traverse through the list, let's make use of a temporary node. Let me call this current node, which starts from the head node. No, I'm not writing self this time. It is linked list dot head since that's the parameter which we passed. And then we run an infinite while loop. Within this while loop, we need to check if the data of this node is already existing in our node count dictionary. Now, if the data is not existing, then we need to make a new entry for it. So let's check that first. If your current node dot data not in node count dot keys, in that case, we need to make a new entry for it. So our node count dictionary will now have current node dot data as its key with the value as one. Now, if that's not the case, if it is already existing, then we need to increment the existing value by one. So that would be node count current node dot data, which is the key. And this value will be incremented by one. So once this is done, we need to advance to the next node. So that's current node equal to current node dot next. So this is how our linked list initially is. We have 13 as the head node, the second node with the data five, then 13 once again, then two, and finally we have 13 one more time and the next of 13 pointing to none. So we have our dictionary like this. Initially it is empty. Now in the first iteration, we have the current node with the data as 13. 13 does not exist in our dictionary. So we make an entry for 13 with the value one. In the next iteration, we check for five. Five does not exist. So we make an entry for five with the value as one. In the next iteration, we are at 13 once again. Now 13 already exists. So it goes to the else part and increments this value by one. And now the value becomes two. In the next iteration, two does not exist. We make an entry for two. And in the last iteration, we check 13 is existing already and we increment the value by one and the value is now three. So we are now at the end of the list and we need to traverse back to the beginning of the list, removing all the duplicate entries. So before we advance to none, we need to check if we are at the end of the list. So if your current node dot next is none, then we need to perform some operations. So in the last iteration, we have the node 13 and we see that 13's next is none, which means 13 is the last node. So now let's go back to the beginning of the list. In the each iteration, we need to check the dictionary. If the value is greater than one, it means that's a duplicate entry and we need to eliminate it. So we check if your node count, which has current node dot data as its key, and if this value is greater than one, then that means this particular node is a duplicate entry. So we see that for 13, the count is three, which is greater than one. And that means that's a duplicate entry and we need to eliminate it. And how do we eliminate it? We make the previous of 13, which is two point to the next of 13. So let's do that. So your current node dot previous, we are now at node two and the next of node two will point to the next of node 13. And the next of node 13 is none. So we need not make any changes there. Now, once we have removed 13 from the list, we need to nullify its pointers. That is current node dot next equal to none and your current node dot previous equal to none. And this needs to be current node dot next here. All right. So now that we are done with this node 13, we need to go back to a previous node, which is node with the data two. But now you see here that we have nullified the pointer previous back to none and we have lost the connection to two. 
So before we nullify this pointer, let's keep track of the address. So let's make use of a new node. Let me call this previous node, which will hold the previous address. And once we are done with this, all we need to do is to go back to the previous node. So that is your current node will now be your previous node. Now in the next iteration, you will see that the current node dot data is not greater than one because we have the current node as two and the number of times two has repeated as one. But before that, one more thing we have left out here is we need to make this all as a part of a while loop. So while true, since we are traversing from the end till the beginning and all of these statements are part of this while loop. All right, now since we need not make any changes for this node, we go back to the previous node, which is node with the data 13. And we see that 13 is greater than one, which is having the value three. But then previously you removed a 13, which means the value should now come down to two. So let's have a statement within this if condition check, which also does that. So your node count, the key, which is the node with the data 13, should now be decremented by one. So first time 13 is getting removed, the count reduces by one and the count is now two. And second time it identifies it, it is once again a duplicate value since the value here is two, which is greater than one. So we need to change the pointers. Now here you see that current node dot previous dot next is made to current node dot next, which means five is now pointing to two, but then two should point to five as well, which means the previous of two should point to five. So that would be your current node dot next, which is now at node two and the previous of two should point to the previous of 13, which is node with the data five. But now if you see in the first iteration, when we found a duplicate value, we have this condition that current node dot next dot previous. Now current node dot next will go to none, but the previous of none is an error. None does not have a previous pointer. So we need to execute the statement only if your next node is not none. So if your current node dot next is not none, only then execute this. Now, if your current node dot next is none, we need not make any changes, but if it's not none, if it has a valid node, then the previous pointer of that node needs to be changed. So now we go back to the previous node, but before that the value here gets decremented to one. And now we are at the head node. So when we are at the head node, all of the duplicate values are now removed. So we need to break this loop when we are at the head node. So if your current node dot previous is none, that's how we identify a head node. In that case, we break this loop. And once we break this loop, we can break the outer while loop as well, since we have now completed all the traversals. So that would be just break that outer loop. And now let's save and execute this program to see if all the duplicate values have been removed from our doubly linked list. So let's save it, go back to the terminal and now execute it. And this time on execution, you see that the two duplicate entries of node with the data 13 has been removed and we are just left with one entry of data 13. So that's the end of this lecture. Do post in the discussion section for any question that you might have. I'll see you in the next lecture where we solve another brain teaser. Thank you.